Peter Stocken, uh, Business Development with In Space Missions. Welcome to Australia in Thank Space you. TV. Brilliant. Great to be here. Wonderful to have you in Singapore at the GSTC. And you did a major media announcement this morning uh, for the Faraday project. Yep. And we, we spoke, spoke earlier to the UK Space Agency uh, on this. Yep. They're the featured country for the second year running. Yep. In Space Missions, maybe introduce us to In Space and then we can talk about Faraday. Yep and what you're doing uh, here in Singapore in the region. Absolutely. Okay, so in Space Missions is a wholly owned subsidiary of BAE Systems. So originally, BAE Systems, uh, sorry, in Space Missions was founded by Doug Little and Tony Holt. Yep. So XSSTL, Tony was the engineering director of SSTL. Um, so they founded the organization in 2015, grew very rapidly, um, and then due to mutual interest in 2021, BA Systems acquired in Space Missions. Um, so ultimately, uh, it's an acquisition to enable BAE uh, the largest defence uh, prime within Europe, seventh largest in the world, 90 plus thousand employees um, active from seabed to space to deliver at the uh, satellite platform level and capability. Um, but that's so, yeah. not new for BAE, is it, at low Earth orbit in the clusters so, that they are, or is in space yeah, unique in that respect? Yeah, so it's, it's unique, the offering um, and the coming together of in space and enabling BAE systems to deliver the Azalea cluster capability, for example, that, that is a unique proposition in, in, in what it offers. Um, and BAE, albeit divested from space 20 plus years ago, um, again, have been doing uh, things like secure waveform for deep space communications, uh, for things like the Euclid mission as well. So it's a, it's a re-engagement with space at the platform level. Um, and again, space has become more uh, 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 accessible and contested and congested. So I was on a panel with Tony uh, yeah. Tony Holt earlier today. The in space clusters is some of, is that purely defence related or is there a civil aspect because it has so many sensors and adding different things onto the onto the platforms sure, themselves. Sure. What's the business model for BAE there? Yeah, so ultimately, so BA Systems, it's a world, world leader in, and it's a defense prime, yeah. um, as I said earlier. So BA Systems, um, Azalea, so Azalea is a concept, um, and Cluster One, which is the first cluster, um, which is ultimately capacity, it's privately owned, it's an internal investment, um, but that is, so in space missions and the combined BA Systems uh, team have worked pretty tirelessly over the last couple of years to get that up and up and going and it'll be launched hopefully by the end of this year uh, and that there is a specific focus on high performance high resilience high assurance um, ISR capability um, but also it, yeah, BA systems typically as a defense prime um, we are actually also focusing on things like capability and capacity building and civil and scientific missions right. as well which leads into the Faraday Dragon right channel. Well, I think the Faraday Dragon, what, what's the customer base? Who, who are your customers in that context? Yeah, so the customers for the Faraday, Faraday Dragon right channel mission so far, so uh, we've got some uh, UK company as well, so Oxford Space Systems. Um, so hopefully we'll be uh, doing an in-orbit demonstration of their uh, hinged rib antenna. Um, and additionally uh, to that, we've got uh, Thailand, Taiwan, um, Singapore, and also the Philippine Space Agency as well, all providing very different and very unique capabilities. So Philippines, for example, they're, they're going to be flying a hyperspectral camera for humanitarian and also agricultural applications. Do you think that's a good thing from a BAE, perspective, BAE systems perspective, is having business in those countries? Uh, I don't know how much more other business you might have, but it's quite unique, don't you think, from a BA yeah, in, yeah, and I, I, in I, I Southeast think, Asia? Yeah, and I, th I think if we look at Indo-Pacific as a whole, um, and all of all of the countries within it, within Indo-Pacific are very, very different, and they're at different parts of their journey with regards to space. BA Systems, it's an established um, partner and supplier of um, highly technical um, solutions for, for our customers' needs and challenges, not just on the defence angle. Um, so I think it's really nice that we're able to take the... Uh, compliance and reassurance that BA Systems bring an offer and actually do something which is more focused on helping the region uh, develop the cap capability and capacity in the space domain. Any touch points to BA Systems Australia? We've been on Australia in Space yeah, today. What, what's the, any connection there? Absolutely. So we work very, very closely with our colleagues at BA Systems in Australia. Um, and again, you know, if you look at uh, the UK, NATO, alliances and all that sort of good stuff. So there's lots of ongoing conversations and again, with, and it's in, in the public press today. Um, we've been given the thumbs up from, uh, uh, from the US authorities for the acquisition of Ball Aerospace. Right. So I think that'll be really interesting how we can take 
the cross breadth and depth of what, what is on offer within BA Systems and our partners' technologies and offer that for our customers around the world. Very interesting. I think it also may tap into the UK space, Australia Space Bridge uh, as well. Absolutely. But Peter, I'm sure we could go on all day, but yeah. well done. You've had a busy day here at the GSTC. Yeah, it's been crazy, yeah. Been uh, but thanks for joining us from In Space Missions. Yeah. And uh, thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. No worries, brilliant. Thank you very much.